Now let's meet the starting lineups. For Boston College, at forward, a 6'5 junior from Brooklyn, New York, number 20, Roger McCready. A tough, smart inside threat for Gary Williams. For Duke, at forward, a 6'9 junior from Scottsdale, Arizona, number 32, Mark Allery. Outstanding outside shooter has been suffering from a hip pointer. For Boston College, at forward, a 6'4 senior from Bronx, New York, number 24, Terrence Talley. He's 6'4, will have to play bigger than his size today, use some quickness. For you, at forward, a 6'7 senior from St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, number 45, Dan Marr. A member of the Canadian Olympic team and a real banger inside. For Boston College, at center, a 6'9 junior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, number 50, Trevor Gordon. Strong, muscular, and he'll need it against the Duke front line. For you, at center, a 6'8 junior from Rolling Hills, California, number 21, Jay Phillips. A weightlifter who's really improved himself. For Boston College, at guard, a 5'11 senior from Hartford, Connecticut, number 23, Michael Addo. He's the spark plug for BC, and as quick a guard as you'll see. For Duke, at guard, a 6-foot sophomore from Falls Church, Virginia, number 4, Tommy Amaker. Super smooth, over 180 assists this year. For Boston College, at guard, a 6'3 junior from Brentwood, Maryland, number 32, Dominic Presley. Awfully quick and a tremendous defensive player. For you, at guard, a 6'2 junior from Washington, D.C., number 24, Johnny Dawkins. Legitimate All-American all backcourt player. And introducing the head coaches for Boston College in his seventh season, Gary Williams. For Duke in his tenth season, Mike Krzyzewski. So the Duke Blue Devils, who are third seeded here at BC Plays, you've got it pretty well surrounded with good perimeter shooters. Mark Allery being one of them. Gets it blocked. That's it blocked, and it's coming down in the hands of Roger McCready, and here pushing it up is Michael Adams. He can penetrate. Sometimes he's out of control. When he's not, he's tough. And Michael Adams puts Boston College in front. Michael Adams on BC's ball. It was right off Phyllis's knee. Johnny Dawkins wide open, hitting outside. Johnny Dawkins at 21 against Pepper. At the first in the regular year in the ACC. Johnny Dawkins hitting from the other side. Gordon loses to Billis. And there is Allery with the short jump shot. And he is an outstanding shooter, as you pointed out, 50 in the backcourt. And now BC goes back to the 2-3. And Tommy Amaker misses short. And the rebound by Terrence Talley. Good and there's pass. there's a fast break inside. Oh, Great pass by Michael Adams. Now, I talked about him freezing the defender. You see how Michael Adams' eyes were looking straight ahead to the right and threw that ball over. All Duke still has it. Mark Allery pumps over Adams, has a big height advantage. Here's Jay Billis goes up. The basket counts in a foul. Now, one of the things, Dick, that BC loves, he throws up a brick. Billis gets it, and with that power, they just couldn't score. And here's that 1 2 2 zone. BC stays in it all the time. Amaker puts her in the bench. He wants to use him for defense. Amaker open. This is this time through. and trying to save it. Dan Mahar. Dawkins inside, and there is Weldon Williams. That's what he had him in the game for, to catch a first to go in the first half. Duke staying right with that man-to-man. -man. Primus, good pass. Inside to Roger McCready, and the basket is going to count. And a foul. Boston College back quickly on defense, but Tommy Amaker going to the hoop. Loose ball coming down in the hands of Dominic Presley. Here's Michael Adams with Billis there, and Adams. McCready follows it up. Outstanding teams, and of course at BC, he has been top-notch. Here's Skip Barry with a good outside. Their own enthusiasm. Long yeah, round. Johnny Dawkins coming down with it. Dominic Presley has done a good job on loose balls. Stu Primus, oh, jump shot. Not a good shot to take percentage-wise. Nobody under hits it anyway. And the full court pressure. Barry at 6'7", giving Allery some difficulty. And now Duke brings it across. Johnny Dawkins. Oh, this game play. is turning into an end-to-end -end run and gun ball. Barry looking for that shot. And Barry misses this one. Johnny Dawkins coming down with it. He has Henderson. He faked the pass and hits the jump shot. David Henderson. You meant Strickland, a good shooter. Of course, uh, you don't want freshmen to have to come in a ball game cold and put up a shot from the outside. Not a good pass. BC still has it. Going to the hoop is Michael Adams. Oh, he makes those all the time. It's unreal. 
How does he know where the hoop is? Because I don't think he's looking for Now here, Duke thought they had to steal. Michael Adams, as usual, coming up with all loose balls. <laughs> now watch this shot. There's no way he wasn't even... They play that tight 1-2-2 uh, two, two zone, and then they interchange uh, everywhere on offense. Adams, turn around over. Amaker kind of posted him up. You ever see a 5-10 man post up another guy? <laughs> Mike. This is not the quickest team in there for Duke right now. Henderson got away with one. Dawkins hits the shot. He had, but he's a good athlete, muscular as you can see. Under seven minutes to go. Barry is guarded well by Jay Billis and a steal by Dawkins. Here he goes. Oh, what a layup. Chipped up and in by Dan Mahar for Duke University. Bowers comes out and right with him, Jay Billis. He's giving no quarter out there. Nice Loose job. Ball and here is Amaker. Gets the ball away from Adams. And it is 31 to 20. The Blue Devils opening up. An 11 point lead and Gary Williams. And a jump shot by Roger McCready gets Good his own rebound. rebound and gets the basket. Good hustle by Roger McCready. And there's a case Syracuse, the winner of that game, and they're playing now. 39 36, Michael Adams and Creek right DC to within one point. Duke had led by 11. Boston College scored six straight. Well, that could have been costly. Three minutes gone by now. Double team on Dawkins. Driving in, Allery with a nice good reverse play. layup. Eight points for Mark Allery. Of course, the Sun Belt having uh, only VCU left now that UAB has been knocked out. Johnny Dawkins will take that All to the, the way. Oh, what nice a shot. Shots and a foul. Johnny Dawkins, after Presley made one of two free because they were sluggish for the uh, He had Bowers right on him. Used the rim beautifully there to help ward off Bowers. Bowers, Adams got hit from behind. There's a lob. Weak side lob inside Dawkins in a crowd. Has a good shot block. blocked by Tyrone. Scott. And Jay Billis with the follow-up now with seven points at the center today. And just when BC makes a run, then Duke comes back and makes a run. And Allery got hit on his shoulder. Seven-point lead for Duke. Primus goes in. Nice. Battles his way. Super quick. Maybe the most improved player on BC this year other than the underclassmen. Five-point lead. Duke coming back. Dawkins finding Billis. Good pass. Good Basket and a foul, and that was the pass that made it all happen by Johnny Dawkins. And Tyrone Scott. Oh, Scott, he's just relaxing. He doesn't realize there's somebody coming from the weak side. Gets there too late. Not only on premise, so he'll be tested early. McCready. Allery double teaming him. Good move inside and a foul. Good hustle by McCready. So we have seen Primus and McCready, who are not overly big, muscle their way. Anderson in the lineup. This is not an unusual lineup for them. Four fouls on Mahar. Again, posting up well inside. Presley Great. going all the way in, and it's 49 to 48. And Boston College on the pressure now, the trap. They let up on it now, trailing by 49 48. Amaker in the lane. And oh, a big nice. basket for Duke. Crossover dribble. He knocks it away. Adams with a jumper. Shouldn't have taken that shot. Yep, he was too Billis quick. Is with open. It. And Billis down court. And the stuff. There is where the aggressiveness of Boston. And here comes Dominic Presley with that great speed that really steals created by BC. You know, they're not mental mistakes. There's Barry, a good shooter. In and out, but gets his oh, rebound. No block no out. Knocked him out. That was Danny Mahar just let him go right to the hoop. And it's a two together. You have that hesitation. Yeah, tremendous indecision on the part of the officials. Boston College. What's his play? That almost goes in. And Adams pass. There's Tyrone Scott. Back to Adams. Adams will fire it up and tie the game for Boston College. Amazing. He's outstanding from the line. 18 of 19. Now 18 of 20. Primus gets the rebound, and Boston College can take the lead. Adams. He hits it and goes down on the floor. <laughs> Boston College leads 55 to. They've had a hard time getting into any kind of offense. Dick Stockton and Billy Packer reporting from Hoffines Pavilion in Houston, Texas. Michael Adams has been the spark plug. Troy Bowers underneath, and now you get a glimpse of why BC has forged in front of this ball game by two points. Now that's a serious problem. There's Bowers going up. Good timing. Billis jumps too soon. Bow against Texas Tech in the first round. Mark Schmidt inside low to Bowers. Bowers turn shot. And Duke. Defending against BC and the Eagle second half. I can't believe that Duke has taken so much time to bring the ball up court. They've got to start putting some things up. Amaker with a jumper. A big shot by Amaker has 17 points. He's the Duke. Even though he has four fouls on him, he has been able to rest during his period of time. Amaker with a fake on Bowers. Tough shot. Allery gets the offensive rebound and goes up with it, and it's a 
Mark Allery in double figures finally. Amaker, long short. range is short, and there's Tyrone Scott. Here's a three on one. Adams challenging Amaker all the way, gets the basket in Boston College. Again, with a three point lead, and Michael Adams. All up court. Very rested. Drives, penetrates, jumps up in the air, has a lot left. Puts it right in the basket. Super play. It's critical for Boston College with Adams on the bench with four fouls. They hung in there and kept the lead. Adams. Ah! Tough shot. <laughs> Is there such a delay game with Michael Adams? Well, <laughs> you know, he's got the... Oh, not a good pass. Allery. Lucky. With a short <laughs> shot. Sometimes you need a little of the luck. That was really a lucky play because BC... BC hits this. Duke almost has to foul the rest of the way. And a five-point lead for the Eagles, 73 to 68, their biggest lead. They have made up 10 points on Duke, which had a five-point lead at the half with one minute to go. Johnny Dawkins penetrating and gets the bucket. He was ice cold this half. Boy, and Stu Primson no fouls. Not Eight there. out of nine from the line, but McCready misses a big free throw, and Duke can tie it up with a basket here. 73-71, 20 seconds to go. You can watch the clock. Amaker working inside. Dawkins with a fake on Primus. He and gets fouled. A foul on Primus. So six of seven from the line. Short. Loose ball. Oh, no. No basket. No basket. And a foul Billis against on the a Duke push. Blue Devils. Jay Billis. And now Boston. And a chance to ice the game in what would be a big upset in this tournament. One for two from the line so far. Hits a big first free throw. That's major free throw because now Gary Williams wants to make sure that nobody fouls here. Duke will have to take that ball the length of the court. And remember, Dick, they have no timeouts left. So they cannot stop the clock. 13 seconds remain. Boston College beat Texas Tech on a shot in the waning seconds by Michael Adams. With One free throw by Tyron Scott. 74-71. Johnny Dawkins to Amaker. Amaker looking for a three-point play. Gets two of them back. They the can't game, call they cannot time. Time. They three cannot seconds, stop the clock. Two, one. The game is over and Boston College has done it. <laughs> Gary Williams has brought the Boston College Eagles home again with a gutty victory over Duke. The final score, 74-73. to 73. For Billy Packer, this is Dick Stockton saying so long from Houston, Texas.